Relationships can always be tricky and then throw in kids and all bets are off. That is where our next guest will come in to talk about a new TV One film airing this Sunday on TV One. Winner of the 2015 African American Black Film Festival screenplay competition sponsored by TV One, Bad Dad Rehab is about four men who are fathers to their children, but not dads. And I'm really excited to talk with a veteran in Hollywood on my line today. You may have seen him on shows like The Soul Man with Cedric the Entertainer and Niecy Nash, Whitney, the TV movie, 90210, Cold Case, NCIS, and the upcoming new edition, the movie, hitting BET in 2017. Today on my line, I have actor Wesley Jonathan stopping by in the news with Frankie and Roe. Wesley, how are you today? Hey, thank you for having me on the show, Frankie. No, we thank you for stopping by, bro. So starting off, Wesley, in Bad Dad Rehab, it definitely touches a few hot buttons on men and their deficiencies as fathers. In the lives of their children, you know, a lot of us are dealing with that, but how did this project draw you in? Well, um, a few things. Um, aside from uh, who was involved, uh, Roger Bob, who is our, our, our head producer, uh, Bobcat Films, um, and uh, a fan of, I'm a fan of his and a friend of his for many years. We did a movie called Roll Bounce Together uh, back in 2005. Rick Gonzalez was attached to the film. So that caught my attention. And then when I actually uh, peered open the script and opened it up and started going through the pages and reading it, I just fell in love with it. And it's a great story about uh, four four men on a journey uh, to not only reconcile and uh, uh, with their relationships or lack of relationships with their children, um, but just the ups and downs and the uh, the drama with, that they go through with their ex-wives or the, the mother of their children. And uh, each, each character... Um, you know, I related to it because I, I, I know each of these characters that were played. Um, I think the audience and people who watch it will know each and every last one of these characters and can relate to them. If, they, if they're not uh, a person that's close to them, they know somebody that knows someone of these characters. So it was just something that was a story that needed to be told that hasn't been told. Um, I haven't done anything like this myself, and I'm a new father, so it kind of sets home for me. Many men struggle on multiple levels to communicate with mothers of their children, as depicted in the film. Do you know, or do you have any idea, are there any small nuggets that may help those brothers who may be struggling to be dads in the lives of their children? Oh, absolutely. The whole point of this film is um, to tell a story and to kind of pull at heartstrings and to uh, have fathers who are in these situations or similar situations uh, to take a step back. Um, to look at it from uh, not only their perspective, but their woman's perspective, uh, you know, the other side, their children's perspective, um, to really be honest with themselves and say, well, could I have done more? Can I do more? To try harder or to try it all? Um, these are the things that we want to uh, uh, get across. We want to spark conversation. We want to get the juices flowing about fatherhood or the lack of. Um, and, and yeah, even though it's a film, this is a film, but this film doesn't, it's not anything about it, it's not fake. Uh, and I know it sounds kind of cliche or, or crazy, but that's why I also decided to do this movie because it is extremely, very real. These are real scenarios, and I mean, and the common scenarios, the scenarios that, you know, uh, people can relate to again and, and, uh, that are going through. My character, Sean, uh, I'm the actual, what drew me to this character was that I'm the voice, the rare voice that is, uh, hardly heard uh, amongst many men who want to be in their children's lives, who love their children, who want to be with them and spend time with them, quality time with them, but can't because of legal issues, court issues, and uh, the ex-wife or baby mom, uh, you know, baby's mother uh, holding them hostage because they have backed up on child support or they're hung up on what the, the father has done to the mother in their relationship as far as, you know, infidelities or whatever the hang-ups are, you know. So um, my character uh, is that voice. I want to be with my kids, but cannot. So um, that's an aspect that's extremely important and I, I thought was important to uh, so. Wesley, I want to thank you for stopping by here on Frankie and Roe in the news. Thank you. That was actor Wesley Jonathan stopping by in the news to talk about his upcoming appearance on Bad Dad Rehab, premiering tonight on TV One. There on my screen, you'll have information to check out your local listings, and we'll see you next time here on In the News.